Westminster College is featured in a new film. There was a special screening last night at the Shenango Valley Cinemas, and everyone agrees the movie is a hit. Westminster hosted a film crew in December to shoot scenes for The Pale Blue Eye. Some lights were taken down around campus, and even the railings swapped out to be more authentic. Just the amount of time that goes into that type of stuff, it's, 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 it's a lot for everyone. Jace Armentrout remembers shooting the movie involves some 12-hour days. So why was Westminster chosen? Well, the quad just had the perfect look that the movie was looking for. Set in the 1830s, and all the old stone buildings fit in perfect. Armin Trout applied to be an extra, but was asked to be a stand-in. His scenes were shot around Pittsburgh and involved the movie's climax. He couldn't wait to see the rest. So I, I knew the payoff and everything, but I, the beginning of the film I really enjoyed because I wanted to see how the characters got to where they were. I thought it was a great movie. It was uh, a lot of fun to watch. I really enjoyed the plot twists in the movie. A location scout had been on campus a few years ago, and it was a perfect match for this movie. The plot involves a cadet who was found dead at West Point Academy campus, and a detective played by Christian Bale arrives to solve the case. I had a lot of fun looking for local, um, local venues that were used in the movie as well, so it was a lot of fun to identify places that I know. Many students got involved being extras in the background. Others were involved behind the cameras. It's going to be something any single person that's ever even been on this campus is going to recognize. This is from Westminster. Um, and, and it's nice that a small little college like us has that opportunity to be in a big Netflix movie like that with big stars in it. The Pale Blue Eye is still showing at Shenango Valley Cinemas. Showtimes tonight, 6.30 and 9.30, four times tomorrow and three times on Sunday.